Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to another episode of Dance All Bomb. If you're not yet a member of this fraternity, please like, subscribe, share this channel, turn on the notification post. Whenever I upload the next episode, you will be notified. Now, in today's episode, we have a few topics to discuss, a few articles to review, a few voice notes to review. These are the stories. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode of Dance All Bomb, we have Cliff Hughes from Nationwide News venting about the PMP conference that took place. He's basically stating that Vibes Cartel should not be a part of that campaign. L.A. Lewis and the Maroon Chief are the members that were present at the PNP conference. I'm going to play this clip for you guys so you can see what Cliff Hughes is talking about. Check it out. Hey yo, yellow, dance all bum, bang. We've left it up. And therefore, you got what you got yesterday at the PNP's conference. A man of questionable character is hailed as a hero. And they, by the calculation of Dayton Campbell and Mark Golding, they have an election to win. And he has a whole lot of influence and sway. Therefore, they're not comfortable with it. When you listen to Campbell, Dayton Campbell and Angela Brown Burke struggling to justify it. But their calculation is we must win and win at all cost. While you, can you imagine, just think about it, when that decision was made to have that gentleman on the stage, not in the audience, on the stage, who in the leadership of the PNP was courageous enough to stand up and say, no, not a backside. Who was courageous enough to do that? Huh? Where was Peter Bunting? Find that clip with Peter Bunting for me. That speaks to that gentleman. Where were they? We're joking. We're joking about... Now, ladies and gentlemen, this public outburst by Cliff Hughes is total nonsense. He's looking at Vibes Cartel in a negative light. Adija Palmer spent 13 years behind bars. He was freed by England. His criminal record wiped clean. He's found innocent after 13 years. He has shown many signs of rehabilitation since his release, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, Vibes Cartel is a changed man. He's giving praises to God, warning the youth to stay out of trouble, showing a positive side of himself to society. Cliff Hughes, you're totally wrong, and I don't agree with you with this move. Now, Earthlings, on to other topics in today's headlines. We have popular social media blogger, the Crime Minister, Constantine, with a public announcement for Steph London. Check out this clip. Dance album no in a one bag of talking, cause we no go see clock. Actually, factually, you know it's David Bat representing dance album. You mean the man? You don't know where them the people. To me ask my money now, the man them type up a little contract now and send come. Remember the agreement was my father your studio from, from them time they forget thousand dollars US. For my work when I come do. It even matter if it did make the album or not, just by me forwarding and showing up. Doing the work, he did it for pay me thousand dollars. Royalties and them things are different. That was one hundred thousand percent. I forget that. See? Me write my part, me perform my part, me vice it, do everything. Rascal and man, him send me a little contract. Cause they must tell me, say, yeah man, send me a bank details, send me this, send me that. I mean, I send all of them, and I still can't get the money. So every time when I link them about the money, I something new. Till one time it reached, say, yo, yeah man, we are sending you the little contract. We need you for sign it, cause you never sign it yet. Them send me to sign it fast and give them it back. Blood clot. You don't know where the bumbo hold them, the people. You see you, Steph London, that's why your album now selling a girl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after this public outburst, 
Constantine posted a receipt to his Instagram account proving that Stefan Don repaid him his $1,000 USD after seeing the clip of him venting. So the case is settled, ladies and gentlemen. Now on to other topics in today's headlines. We have Ira, the machine firer, reuniting with Bounty Killer, the five-star general. One grung Godzilla. I have a clip to share with you guys. Check it out. Alisa, I represent for dance album. Hear me, I a dance album. It's sticky pandem. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a good look to see Bounty Killer and Ira, the machine fire up on good terms again. You know, father and son do have issues. Family feud do exist. But it's a great feeling to see reunions. People, when people reunite, shows growth and maturity. Good look to see Bounty Killer, the five-star general, and Ira, the machine fire up. On good terms again, ladies and gentlemen. Now on to other topics. In today's headlines, we have P. Diddy being arrested and charged on sex trafficking, ladies and gentlemen. I have a clip to share with you guys. Check it out. Yeah, man, I say no up top, boss. I'm represent dance album. Hey, dance album. I bet you fuck up in ya. News to tell you about Sean P. Diddy Combs has been arrested, according to TMZ. According to the New York Times, he was indicted in New York by a federal grand jury uh, and was just taken into custody in Manhattan. As we know, he's been uh, the subject of an investigation uh, for some time now, Marla. Fox 11 was first on the scene, in fact, in March. Here's that shot from Sky Fox uh, when uh, federal agents raided his homey hills. So this is connected to that raid. There was also a raid of his property in Miami. His team tonight, his attorney putting out a statement saying, quote, he is an imperfect person but is not criminal and goes on to say that they are disappointed with the decision to pursue what they believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs. So we're going to have a lot more on this throughout the night here on Fox 11. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Diddy Coombs is innocent until proven guilty. The courts will decide his faith. Now, Dan Salbaum will be staying close to this case, providing you the details as they are updated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on to other topic in today's headlines, we have Vibes Cartel, the trending topic across all social media platforms, once more being dragged in the mud, ladies and gentlemen. He posted a picture with the caption, he does not like short women, and he has been getting some bashing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, leave your comments towards this situation in the comment section if you think he is sending some subliminal messages to his baby mother, Shorty. Check it out. Me, shocking more representing for dance album. A dance album, I do it. You hear that? Tune in. That's a wrap for today's edition of Dance Hall Bomb. Thank you for joining us as we dished out the latest entertainment news and celebrity buzz. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the loop with all things entertainment. Until next time, stay fabulous and keep shining like the stars. See you in the next episode.